Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the NVIDIA Omniverse. So go ahead and go to this website right here and then click download. It's going to ask us what you're going to be using it for. Let's go ahead and choose for me, personal gaming or entertainment. And then after that, I'm just going to fill this up and then click submit. And then once I click submit, it's going to say thank you for your submission. I'm going to go ahead and download this for Windows. It's roughly 59.4 megs, so it should be good. Go ahead and click that right here. All right, so the next step, I'll put my login information and then I'll just say Microsoft Edge. Since I already have an account, I will go ahead and log in. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and read the EULA. Press continue and read this again. Okay, so it's gonna take you to the settings right here for the library path. You can just use your default fastest hard drive, but for the data path and cache, you probably wanna choose like the biggest hard drive you got. Uh, I'm just gonna leave everything by default for now. And I will go ahead and install the cache. All right, so I'll pause that video so we don't have to watch the entire thing. And we will go to the, pretty much the front page. So I'll click news right here. And I'll make this bigger so you can see it better. Okay. So here we go in the main page right here. So this is the launcher for Omniverse. And then on the top right here, you're gonna see a couple of tabs and links. If I click on the library, this is gonna show you pretty much everything that you have. But as you can see, we don't have anything installed except for the cache. Let's go to our exchange right here. Again, this is gonna show you everything the Omniverse kind of offers with connectors and apps. If I click on apps, you're gonna see all the Omniverse app. And if I go to the connector, you're gonna see all the connectors so far. Now, January, 2022, here are the current connectors you have, which we're gonna go over some of them in future episodes. So the next step is we're going to install our Nucleus service. So click on this add button right here and data path is okay. So this is gonna make you create an administrator account that lets you log in into the Nucleus. So I already have this set up, but I'm gonna go ahead and just redo it again. All right, and after that, if you look at the top right, it's going to install the Nucleus workstation. All right, let's go ahead and log in. And now that's going to take us to the Nucleus. And here you go. We know it's working because I have now access to the NVIDIA folder right here that's in the cloud. So that is good. All right, so the next step we're going to do is install a couple of apps. I'm going to go to the Exchange right here, and I will download Omniverse Machinima. Now this is what I'm using right now when I'm creating animations inside Omniverse. So let's check to see what builds we have. And it looks like this is the most recent version. Press OK and then install. Okay, so while this is downloading, if you look to your top right, we have a bell icon right here. This pretty much is your notification bell. It shows you what you did. Right here, we installed the Nucleus workstation and the cache. And on the right of that is your account information. Right there is my username, settings, about log out and exit all right so if you click on learn you're going to see some tutorials here that are made by omniverse and nvidia people if you want to get started in there as well or if you want more advanced uh, tutorials you can look in here as well it looks like our machinima is finishing downloading right now let's go back to the exchange and let's go back to our connector so pretty much in the connector section we're going to be going over in future episodes we're going to be looking at the Relusion character connector, the iClone. We're gonna be taking a look at the Unreal Engine, which is up here, three versions, 4, 2, 5, 6, and 7, 2, 7. All right, so it looks like the installation completed. As you can see here, top right, you can see the Machinima is installed. So let's go back to our library. And sure enough, our Machinima is now here. So the next episode of this series, we're actually gonna go into the NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima.